Hi, I'm Gene DeClerc, and this is the first in a series of short videos that we're producing for the Birth by the Numbers website. This one is on home births, and what we're not looking at is not the safety of home births or the debate over home births, but simply the trends in home births today. As I go through these, I literally have the slides on my lap. I'll occasionally be following those, and if there's a God in heaven, the producers of this will cover me with these slides so you don't have to look at my face this whole time. So we have four questions we're going to deal with here. One is, is anyone having home births? A second is, who's attending those home births? A third is, who's having the home births? And finally, what's the future of home birth in the United States? Um, first question, is anybody having home births? And the answer is yes. This, this first slide you see looks at the question of trends in home births over time. And it looks at it across countries. Um, what I wanted to present here was several countries, the United States, England, the Netherlands. And what it shows is the trend in the United States first started to decline back in the 30s and 40s when there was a growth in hospitals in the United States. Much later declines in other countries. Two other things we'll note about this. One is you see the Netherlands are the only country that still has a significant number of out-of-hospital births, roughly 15% of their births. The other is that uh, you see a slight bump for the United States, uh, very subtly circled in red, for the United States and England in the last few years in an increase in home births. This is the trends in the United States specifically, and what you see is a slow decline over time uh, between 1990 and 2004, and then a fairly substantial increase. Um, overall, the increase was about 58% between 2004 and 2014 in the United States. And we're now up to the point where over 56,000 births in the United States uh, occur out of hospitals, with the biggest increase coming in home births. So who's having a home birth? And where are they having them? I know your first thought is they're having them at home, but follow along. First, in terms of who's having them, what this slide illustrates is the breakdown of home births by race and ethnicity. And there's a couple things that are apparent here, too. First, you see that in that period when the overall home birth rate was going down for the entire population. It actually stayed quite level for white non-Hispanic mothers. And then after 2004, there's a rapid increase in those births. In the case of all the other mothers, all the other subgroups, what you see is a slow decline between 1990 and 2004, and then a leveling after 2004. So there's a lot going on here um, in the different groups that we can identify. So you're saying, but Gene, when will you put these up by state so we can look at maps? Um, hang on. Uh, I'm going to take you through several of them. This is 1990, and you see a clustering in the upper northwest, um, but relatively low rates of home births, not many states over 1%. And as we look at it going forward, here's 2000. You see uh, the decline that we talked about between 1990 and 2000. 2004, that turning point, you start to see pretty much the same as you saw in 2000. You're saying, could you go back, Gene, and look at 2000 again? Sure, here you go. And then we look at it, you can see in 2004 is essentially the low point in this. And then since then, here's 2007, 2010, and now 2014. Uh, by 2014, a significant number of states are over 1.5% of all their births out of hospital. Uh, still a clustering in certain states, the Northwest um, and some of the Upper Midwest, um, and clusters in Maine, Vermont, um, much lower rates in the Deep South. So who attends these births? Um, the, the primary birth attendant in out-of-hospital births is actually what's termed other midwives. That's the birth certificate term for what are essentially uh, certified professional midwives trained to do home births, and they account for almost half of all of the home births in the United States. Um, certified nurse midwives account for about a quarter. Other account for about a quarter. The question is, of course, who's other? Who's other other? Right? Not other midwives, but who are other? And that could be anything from parents. Uh, it's not taxi cab drivers. Uh, it's probably in most states. We don't know by definition. We don't even know exactly who that is. But in most states, that's going to be the um, case where midwives might not be legal in that state, and so other people sign for the birth certificates. And you see in a very small number of cases, it's both doctors who attend home births. This is the growth in uh, births attended by other midwives. And what you see is this trend actually predates the 2004 increase, though it accelerates after that. 
Uh, in the late 90s, started seeing more and more births attended by certified professional midwives as more women were getting trained to be certified professional midwives. And that peaks now where about 31,000 of all births in the United States are attended by these women, typically women. But certified nurse midwives are increasing in their attendance at home births as well. And they more than doubled in the period from 2004 to um, 2014. In, in both the number and proportion of home births they attend. And what about these others that, that I mentioned? This is a breakdown of the, um, the data we have by whether or not the birth at home was planned to be at home. And what you see is about 88% of all of the home births in the United States were actually planned to be at home. For doctors, that's pretty rare. Uh, for other midwives and certified nurse midwives, virtually all of the home births they attend are planned to be at home births. And in the case of that other group, um, a large majority, 70%, are actually planned home births, which suggests, again, these aren't accidents that are happening at home, but rather planned home births attended by someone who doesn't fit any of the criteria we currently use. So what's the future for home birth in the United States? Um, in a survey, a national survey of mothers who had just given birth in a hospital called Listening to Mothers, uh, we asked mothers whether or not they thought a woman should have the right to have a home birth. And what this illustrates is a very large proportion of mothers, about two thirds of the mothers, uh, either strongly agreed or agreed that a mother should have a right to do that. Now mothers are very protective of their rights in general, so this is probably not that surprising. The more important question is, would she want to have a home birth? And, Keep in mind, these are mothers who have just given birth in a hospital that are being surveyed. And the question was, in a future birth, how open would you be to giving birth at home? And what you see here is roughly about a third of the mothers either definitely would want or would seriously consider having an out-of-hospital birth, a home birth specifically, a home birth, in a subsequent birth. I think this is really an important figure because what we're saying is here now 29% of all mothers are saying um, after having a hospital birth, that they would be open to the idea of a home birth in the future. And I think that's something for hospitals to consider in terms of the nature of the services they provide. What's also interesting is while we saw that in those, uh, that breakdown by race ethnicity, that um, a relatively small proportion of all those births were um, out of hospital births were to non-Hispanic black mothers. In answering this question, non-Hispanic black mothers were the ones most likely to say they were interested in a home birth in the future, which suggests that um, maybe again, we need to reconsider what's happening in, in hospitals in these cases. So how far is this increase likely to go? Eh, not as far as, as home birth advocates might think. This is the data from England. And what you see is uh, in England, they establish support for home birth, so it's integrated into the overall system. And there was a substantial rise in home births, but a rise from a very low base, from 1% to the point where it almost got to about 3%. Now it's leveled at about 2.5%. I think that's probably going to be the case in the United States as well. Um, it's a significant increase, but it's not going to overwhelm the system. So finally, um, what's the future of out of hospital births? It's likely to continue to grow. It's not likely to go much beyond 3%. Um, there may be much greater potential for growth in birth center births, a topic we'll have in another one of these videos. Um, most importantly, in the case of home births, the biggest question is whether or not they'll be integrated into the system so that it'll be safer for mothers and babies when those births do occur at home. Finally, if you have questions about this video or any others, go to our website, birthbythenumbers.org. Um, you can reach out to us there. You can look at other videos. You can actually have the slides that have been presented here. We give everything away. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you and look for more of these videos soon.